Uber to start banning passengers with low ratings, a driver that kills a passenger over a vomit dispute, and a dash cam captures a Lyft driver violently attacked. It's This Week in Rideshare News. Hey guys, I'm starting this week's news off with a very important story. Now, I'm going to read some of this from the actual article. Hope you don't mind. Uber to start banning passengers with low ratings. Yes, yes, yes. There are now consequences for bad behavior, guys. And the reason I want to pull from this is they're saying that the new motto, respect is a two-way street. And now bad riders will be kicked off the platform if their scores are too low. I know that many drivers have subscribed to the idea of if your rating is below X, I'm not going to pick you up. Well, Uber's going to help you with that process and they're going to get rid of people as well. And so they say that they're going to ban folks that are disrespectful, um, threaten drivers, spew racist rants and damage to vehicles and threats. Okay. Um, they also state that folks will lose access to eat and jump and pretty much any other Uber, uh, platform. All passengers will be sent a new terms of service. How does it feel? How does it feel to be sent a new terms of service and have to uh, accept it before they can use the platform? They will also be able to easily see what their um, rating is and receive tips. Get this, tips on how to improve your rating. I wanted to read to you their tips. This is funny because I want y'all to jump in on the fun too. Here are some tips to increase your scores. Suggestions like being polite taking your trash out of the vehicle, and refraining from asking drivers to speed. It says that before passengers are deactivated, they'll have multiple chances to imp- increase their scores, of course. Um, those uh, chances will be great for uh, drivers as well, but I am happy to hear this, and I think with more feedback from us, from you, uh, from drivers, about what really should initiate a low score on the passenger side is going to improve this process. So anytime you have a chance to to uh, contribute to a form or a video, talk about the things, or if you make videos, talk about the things that would improve this process. Believe me, they hear what we are saying. They watch and listen to these videos. They read the forms. So any information you guys have to improve this process, please let me know. What should a passenger get a low score for? Hit me up in the comments. So guys, this next story happened a couple months ago, but I think it's important to share if you haven't heard about it already. There was an Uber driver in New Mexico that was transporting two guys and one of them threw up in his car. Um, They began to argue about the issue of, you're going to pay that cleaning fee, right? And the the two went at it. Uh, The driver pulled to the side of the road. The guys got out the car. The altercation progressed. The driver pulled out the gun. The guy said, you're not going to shoot me. And if you're going to shoot me, I'm going to kill you with your car. He jumps in the car, tries to drive at the driver. The driver shoots him. The man dies. Currently, there are no charges against the driver. However, they're still investigating it. And they're trying to figure out if the driver was protecting himself or what went wrong there. And the thing that caught my eye is that they had a dispute over the cleaning fee. And from what I understand, the cleaning fee is not something that's actually sent to the rider until you close out the ride, you complain, you send it to them, and then they get the charge. So perhaps it was just some banter. Oh, like, oh, you're going to clean my car kind of situation. The guy was like, no, I'm not. And then it escalated from there. The reason why I want to bring this up, because we all have triggers. I mean, for the most part, I think most of you guys are pretty professional when it comes to doing this. But we all have those little moments where we lose it for a second. Can't say that I would have done anything different if you decide that you're going to jump in my car and use it as a weapon to kill me. We don't know enough about what happened to really speak on the different pieces. And again, I paraphrased everything. Take everything I say for face value. Read the article yourself. But it's just a reminder, a good reminder that, you know, not everybody is wrapped too tight. And sometimes we can allow ourselves to be too upset and to go too far. And so that's just a reminder to keep it cool. And if you guys are carrying weapons and things like that, definitely you know, use proper judgment in yielding those weapons because once you take it to that place, it's an escalation for sure. Uber has launched a new ride-sharing submarine. Yeah, because the world needs a ride-share submarine. I've got photos for you guys. Check that out right there. 
And can you believe that this thing is actually on the market? I know what you're thinking. I do. Let me know though. If you could scuba dive, right? Would you sign up to be an Uber, the uh, Uber scuba, mm. Uber scuba driver? Mm. <laughs> Uber scuba driver, Uber mm -hmm. scuba driver. Would you? Let me know in the comments. And guys, for the wrap up of this, I've got two what would you do sort of stories. The more important one, and everyone has seen this, is this Lyft passenger right here that was beat savagely and luckily got caught on camera. A couple days ago, a Lyft driver was driving with a with two passengers, one who seemed to be very, very disgruntled. I knew something was gonna happen. The man told him to speed up the car and the driver responded, which I felt appropriately. If you don't like the ride, I can, you know, I can end it and pull over. The man savagely beat the driver from the behind his head, on top of his head, while he was driving them both. And the man had to maneuver the car into a safe place to park it, still got beat some more. And the woman was like, oh, oh, stop, oh, stop, oh my gosh. And I'm just sitting here like, this isn't the first time he's hit somebody. So I think it's a good time for us to discuss, number one, what would you do in that situation? Number two, do you have a dash cam? The only reason we're discussing this from this vantage point is because he had a dash cam. It's your word against his if you do not have a dash cam. I've included a link to the video if you want to see it. It's hard to watch. The man got beat up and I could just imagine with every punch this guy was just, oh, he was horrible. What would you do in this situation? Have you been in this situation? Do you think what he did was right? Short answer, I felt like he did the best he could. Knowing that the guy was crazy and at this point, and I've done this before where people got really nasty in the back, I found a safe place to park. I travel light. I don't, I don't bring a purse or anything like that when I drive. But as soon as, as soon as I pulled to the side, honey, turned the car off, grabbed the keys, jumped out the car and said, I'm not driving no more and was moving in a different direction, you know, in a public place away from those people. And I was able to do that. Everything lined up together. I don't know if I were to do the same thing if we were on the freeway or if I was in a desolate area. You know what I mean? Because then the chase ensues. If, you, if they're that mad or they're indignant and don't want to get the car, then they're probably going to run after me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> you know, different situations call for different measures and reactions. And so just share with us what you guys would do in this situation in the comments. I'm definitely going to read your comments. I can't wait to read them, actually. And my final, what would you do? Um, this one's lighter because, <laughs> because we need something light. This guy, Nick, posted a photo on Facebook. I didn't get clearance to share it, so I'm just going to read to you guys what was said. And you guys let me know what you would do in that case. Have you ever had a passenger put his his or her feet up on your dash, shoes or no shoes. Did you do anything about it? Would you treat a man differently than a woman in this situation? All right, so he shows a picture and I'm thinking, was this a real picture? Because I would be pissed. So first question, um, how would I feel if someone put their foot on my dash, shoes or no shoes? Um, eh, uh, take your feet off of my dash whether there's shoes on or shoes off actually i think a barefoot is more disrespectful actually your nasty stanky toes up i mean we're inhaling this at this point you had a shoe on when you got in the car i'm assuming so now you want to unearth the funk and put it on my dash i might just fight you like i that's that that's a trigger for me secondly would i treat the person different whether it was a man or woman it's equal disrespect whoever does it i think i'd probably be more mad that a female would do it i feel like women make more sound decisions especially because i am one but that doesn't necessarily ring true right guys it doesn't matter what your gender is it doesn't matter what the issue is you can't put your foot on my dash what are your thoughts in this case? Has anyone ever done this to you? And here's another question that I throw in the mix. Are women or men more apt to pull some stunts like this? Let me know in the comments. And that wraps up this week. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed to Harry's channel, the Ride Share Guy channel, please do that below. That little red button would be nice. Uh, if you are curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. And um, yeah, you can hit me up on Facebook or YouTube. And uh, as always, I hope that you guys are safe, okay? And I know you guys are probably going to get a lot of questions about some things I've discussed this week. Keep it light. People don't know. People don't get it. You know what I mean? Don't take offense to it. I would have some canned responses to some of these uh, questions because people are seeing the stuff in the news and they want to know. They're curious about your point of view. With that being said, I hope you guys have a swell week. I'll see you next week with This Week in Rideshare News. Bye.